Tumbleweeds and New Vegas totally threw me a curveball. I thought the only interesting thing about them was that they sound like metal when you jump on them, but boy was I wrong. There is so much more to these little creatures than I thought. As any good New Vegas fan knows, it's important to get your daily dose of New Vegas info, packing away as much extremely valuable data as you can, until the point where you can accurately recreate the game from memory. That is why today, I bring you all of the lore of Tumbleweeds in Fallout New Vegas. Tumbleweeds are a necessity in any desert scene, and New Vegas nailed it. Kinda. It's common knowledge that the tumbleweeds in New Vegas are a little jank. The physics are a little weird, and they sound like metal when you collide with them, which, little side note, lucky for you, I found out shouldn't be the case. Uh, the metal sound effect wasn't just thrown in there cause screw it. I double checked and actually found the intended audio files. Not one, not two, but six tumbleweed sound effects. Here, I guess I'll play them for you now. You're welcome. Now you can imagine a world where the tumbleweeds of New Vegas sound as they should. But otherwise, they seem pretty normal, right? Wrong. These are not regular tumbleweeds. They are alive and watching you. Fully sentient and... Uh, oh wait. May maybe they're not watching, but... Alright. Before we get into the stats, I'd like to let you know that there are actually three variants of tumbleweed found in New Vegas. Tumbleweed, Tumbleweed Baby, and Tumbleweed Rad. The later two are not actually found in-game, from what I can find. I don't know, have you ever encountered a baby tumbleweed before? But luckily you can still spawn them in with commands. So here's what they look like. Epic. Alright, now let's get into the numbers. So regular tumbleweeds, found in a specific part of the map, are actually named Wind Brahmin. They can't level or open doors, uh, no knockdowns, all regular stuff here, but it says they're an animal? Their form type in the browser is a creature. See, they have the combat of a mantis. It gets weird once you go into the stats tab. They are level 1 by default, have 1 strength, are blind for some reason. Uh, maybe it's a good thing they never gave these poor creatures eyes with which to see. And 1 in every other special attribute. They have a combat skill of 10, 1000 health, holy shit. They don't do any damage on attack, but they still can attack, technically, with a critical chance of 1. Here's their factions list, which I, will be important later and AI data. Unaggressive, cowardly, and if you thought a tumbleweed might someday come to your rescue, no, they help no one. Next, let's check out the tumble rad. With all the same stats as the regular tumbleweed, the radioactive tumbleweed has the addition of the glowing one glow spell. You all know what that is. And when destroyed, I mean killed, these things are living creatures, keep that in mind, you earn XP. Next is the Tumbleweed Baby, which is exactly the same as the regular Tumbleweed. It's even named Wind Brahmin as well. Kind of boring. You had my hopes up, baby Tumbleweed. I was hoping that someday I'd be able to watch you grow up and get stuck out in front of the Prospector Saloon or something. Thankfully, they are a lot smaller than the other variants, so... I mean, they got that going for them. Alright, now that we know more about these creators, let's get into the deep Tumbleweed lore. There's a Tumbleweed Ranch at the northwest corner of the map. Inside the house, you will notice that, despite no one home, everything is owned. I think this implies that the two tumbleweeds present are the owners of the estate. And for any of you wondering, yes, I did check in the geck to see if this tumbleweed was supposed to be on the couch and just rolls off or something, but no. Unfortunately, it was just placed on the ground here. Outside, if you enter the corral, it will initiate dialogue with his nightkin. He will ask if you want to buy a wind brahmin for all your caps, and if you do, he basically just call you a dumbass and stand within range for the rest of his life. I checked to see if he goes off wandering to start a new life with his newfound wealth, but nope. He just stays right there. If you like this kind of New Vegas content, check out these videos. And subscribe to the channel because I got a lot more stuff coming. Oh yeah, and tumbleweeds have skeletons, by the way. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Peace.